Hey, I'll pray. Y'all understand what he's saying that we are the children of Israel. Right. That's right. So let me ask you a question. Give me Colossians 2 and verse 8. Well, we got it off the internet. You just Google it and uh, print it out. That's what we did. You know? I'll pray. All right. Hey, so check this out. I want to ask you something. Y'all celebrate Christmas, right? You celebrate Christmas? Yeah. It was told that why, why, do, why do we celebrate Christmas? It's not, right? So, we should be celebrating Christmas, right? I'm, I'm going to tell you straight. I, I never knew this all right, before. And once I found out, it made me angry. To the point I, I understand uh, the white man's goal, the government's goal for black people to celebrate Christmas. Because you got to think something. From Black Friday all the way into Christmas, right? Black people are going into the malls. We're going everywhere, buying up the store, uh, stuff at the store. Now, who owns those stores? White people. So, they teach us in Christianity that it's Jesus' birthday. But actually, we know as a people that it's not. They teach us that Santa Claus is real. He coming down the chimney to deliver presents to your children. Well, actually, you are working hard, blood, sweat, and tears, 40 hours, 60 hours a week trying to get your children or your family members that Christmas. And then we'll take that and give all credit to a fat white man. You see how delusional, how we are messed up that is? So watch this, let me show you something. Read, this is what the Bible says about Christmas. I'm gonna show you Christmas in the Bible. Watch this, but listen to this first. No, go to, go to Jeremiah 10 right quick. That shows us that we're not as a people supposed to be celebrating. And this is why we had to go through slavery. This is why we had to go through the civil rights movement. This is why uh, we had to go through what we're going through as a people. This is why black people are on the bottom. Because we're not stopping to think, are uh, we supposed to be celebrating everything that the white man taught us to celebrate? The Bible says the Sabbath's on the Saturday. Right. That's not Sunday. That's not Sunday. They allowed us to celebrate. That's when they allowed us to do it. It's just convenient for them. And it's against God. And you got to realize everything they taught us is against God. Right. Just like they can say two men can get married. Two women can get married. They legalize them. Everything they do is against God. Right. But the things that they taught us, listen to this. We're going to read about Christmas in the Bible. Listen. This way before Jesus was born. Listen, bro. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the, the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So he's telling us to hear the Bible, that God is speaking to the house of Israel. Who is the house of Israel? Us. Yes. The so-called blacks that were brought here on the cargo slave ship. All right? The Hispanics that was uh, of Negro descent. All right? The Latinos that are Negro to six. That's what we're talking to. Listen. Thus saith the Lord. He said, Thus saith God. Listen. Learn not the way of the heathen. He said, Don't learn the way of the heathen. The heathens are the people that are not of God. Like the Chinese. Like the so called white man. Like the so called Arab man. Like the so called, uh, uh, give us more. Indian. All right, East Indian. He said, Don't learn that way. Come on. And be not dismayed at the signs of the heavens. Don't be dismayed at the sun and the stars and the moon. That's what they worship. Listen. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh, come on. For the customs of the people are vain. So the dead customs are vain. Being their lives. They're there for nothing. It's emptiness in it. He said their customs, but their learning, the God that they're serving, is vain. Listen. For they cut the tree out of the forest. So they do what? Well, they cut, cut a, a tree out of the forest. So they'll cut a tree out of the forest. Now, I want you to understand something. He said that these people, this way before Jesus was born, he said that these people would cut a tree out of the forest. Listen. Pick one. Listen. These work on the hands of the workmen with an axe. And they cut this tree down with an axe. I want you to listen. They jack it with silver and gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck the tree with what? Silver and with gold. Silver bell, silver bell. They deck it out with what? Silver and gold. Now what is this talking about today? What do we call this today? 
No, nah, what we call this tree? A what tree? A Christmas tree. Now read it for the top again. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. He said, don't learn that way. Because these heathens would cut a tree out of the forest and deck with silver and gold. This, that's what the heathen do. Listen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Nobody put a star on the top of the Christmas tree. Listen. Come on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. They fascinated with this. Come on. For the customs of the people are vain. Because they was teaching people this and it was vanity. It was vain. It had nothing to do with God. It had nothing to do with Jesus. Listen. For one cut a tree out of the forest. He said that one would cut a tree out of the forest. Come on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. And they did it with an axe. Come on. They deck it with silver and with gold. And they deck it. Just like we like to be decked out with silver and gold. They deck those trees out with silver and gold. Alright? Those, those, those ornaments that they put on the trees was actually human heads hanging off the tree. And guess who those humans were? Us, the Israelites. They would have big trees and they would come and they would hang ornaments on this tree. Where did the tree come from? Alright? You gotta ask yourself, what does a tree have to do with Jesus? Nothing. What does a Christmas tree got to do with Jesus? But everybody got one in their house. Though. Right. You got to ask yourself, is this? We got to stop and think. Black people got to stop and think. What does a Christmas tree with lights and ornaments on it got to do with Jesus? I will be straight. You got nothing to do with Jesus. Where did it come from? All right. You had a great ruler on the earth by the name of Nimrod. Nimrod had a mother named Semiramis. All right. Semiramis and Nimrod, mother. And uh, mother and son fell in love with one another. Yes, they had sex with one another. All right? When Nimrod died, his mother planted a dead tree stump. And when that tree grew, they had people from, since he was a mighty ruler, they had people from all around the world bring gifts and put it under that tree because it was supposed to be the spirit of Nimrod in that tree. That's where the Christmas tree come from. Black people got to start thinking, we got to start going back to reading. That's right. We're, we're just following the traditions of men and we're thinking it's right and God is angry with us when we do these things. Right. That's why a lot of black people got to die who celebrate Christmas, right. who celebrate Thanksgiving, who celebrate uh, Valentine's Day. You know? Everything that this white man has told us to celebrate is wrong. Right. It's called white supremacy. Because as long as we're celebrating Christmas, we're going to see us at the bottom. Right. You'll see them at the top. Financially. Spiritually. We spend all our money with them on a fake Jesus. Right. We spend our money all about a fake Christmas tree. Right. Everything about Christmas is fake. Root off the red nose reindeer. It's not a such thing as a damn reindeer. The flies in the sky, they got a shine. Right. Frost in the snow rain. There's no such thing. These are all made of things. Give me Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. These are, these are made of things to keep them on top and to keep us at the bottom. Black people in this man, we the number one consumers in the world. They say if you want to sell something, take it to the black neighborhood. The niggas will buy it. Except a book. Yeah, except a book. They ain't gonna buy that. They ain't gonna read, they ain't gonna do none of that. We're gonna follow the traditions of man. Now let's see what Paul in the Bible said about following the traditions of a man. Read what you got. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. First he said beware. Beware is like you see a sign saying beware of a dog. So this time we're not talking about a dog, but he's talking about a man. And who is the man? The so-called white man. The Europeans who taught us how to read and write English. Taught us about God. They told us God's birthday is Jesus, his son's birthday, December 20th. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. Right. That's what we got to understand. When are we going to start to look? It's impossible for Jesus to be born in a dead middle of winter. It's impossible. Listen. Beware, let's see the man spoil you through philosophies. See, the philosophies are the Christmas carol, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the sale, Black Friday. The philosophies are the, the ways of he's teaching you to do these things. All right, huh? White snowman. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Santa Claus, which spells Satan if you rearrange the words. Come on. And vain deceit. And it's vain deceit. Be 
you worry that any man spoil you, you know what I mean, some spoiled stuff, bro. You ever had some else spoiled milk? It's bad, ain't it? So spoil meat. That's what he was gonna make the people. Spoil you, make us bad, make us no good. God said, be worthy of a man come and do this thing to you, come on. After the tradition of men and what Christmas was gonna be. All right, I'll praise it, bro. All right, come on, listen, you gotta take that Christmas hat off now, cause it ain't about God. Take it off, throw it away. Go into the damn street somewhere. It ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. Right. Hold on, mama, listen, listen. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men. Wearing a Santa Claus hat is after the tradition of a man. Right. We should be in the spirit of Christ, not Santa Claus. Right. We should be in the spirit of the black Messiah, not uh, a, a white man that's coming to deliver uh, presents to your children. Right. Coming down the chimney. Then that house right there ain't got no chimney. I don't want to have Santa Claus going to get through there. Right. What, are you going to kick the door down right. in the yeah. middle of the night? Right. We're, we are not supposed to celebrate Christmas, Mama. You got to take that hat off. You wearing white supremacy on your head, proud. I'm gonna go over this shit out. I can see you with uh, I can uh, Santa Claus hat on. He happy as hell to keep us lost. Right. We can't support white supremacy and be so proud. Then say Black Lives Matter. We can't support white supremacy and then go to the city council meeting talking about why we ain't got no business in our community. We can't support white supremacy and then wonder why our children are shooting and gunning down one another. We walking around with white supremacy on our head. Right. When you put a tree in your house, you represent white supremacy. Right. Bring it up. Christianity is built on white supremacy. Right. That's what we learned the lies about Christian uh, Christmas Day. In, in the church, in the black church. That's what we're learning the lies about a fake Jesus. A little right. white baby born in a manger. Right. That's a damn lie. And what you're learning are all these lies is it's in the Christian church. Right, right. That's why it's important for them to keep a Christian church on every black corner. Because as long as there's a black Christian church on every corner, guess what? White people gonna stay rich and niggas gonna stay at the bottom. That's the, that's the setup since slavery. Let's teach them about white Jesus. Put an organ and drums in there and then tell them everything gonna be all right. Tell them, just keep telling them everything gonna be all right long as they celebrate Christmas. Bring your kids something and go to the mall and buy and spend billions of dollars. Black people, we gonna spend, y'all know how much money we gonna spend from Black Friday until Christmas? Right. I think they say over, a, a, it's like a billion and some dollars Black people alone gonna spend from Black Friday to Christmas. We don't know what to put our energy and money in. All right, give me that some more, bro. Come on, I want to read Black Friday again. Because it was some more and I want to read. We'll get that. Hold on. Consumer spending $9 billion, an increase of 21.6% year over year. All right, so it keep increasing. It keep increasing year over year. Black people, we ain't got no money problem. We got a problem on where to spend it at. That's the thing we're trying to fix. We can own the stores in our own community if we stop celebrating Christmas. We can own, we got no money to build our own hospital and put our own black doctors in it. Right. If we stop celebrating Christmas. Right. But black people ain't gonna do that because they think it's white Jesus' birthday. Right. And I'm gonna get my nigga some for his birthday. I'm gonna get my baby something. I'm gonna get my girl something. And all the money you spending, you're not spending it in black stores. You going to the white man store. You going to Macy's, you going to Dillard's, you going to uh, City Trends. You going to uh, uh, City Gear. We going to get fresh for the white man. Right. We going to serve our enemies for the one of all things, man. It's time for us to wake up mentally. And that's why we out here, to wake black people up mentally first. Right. Because when we start to wake up the kings on the earth, get out this level, get out these tribes, the white man going to have damn problems. Right. That's right. He going to have damn problems when we wake up and come to our senses and understand we've been duped. We've been duped. We've been hooked with bamboozled. Malcolm X said we've been tricked. And once we wake up, man, this white man know he gonna have a problem. Right. He know it. Cause y'all don't know it and don't believe it, man. Yes. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.